Well, think about this. Every year, one in four children, maybe that's one in your household, needs medical attention for an injury that could have been prevented. Safe Kids Kansas is partnering with the Topeka Zoo this weekend to share safety messages in a fun way. Sherry Sage with Safe Kids Kansas is here to tell us more about that. Welcome to you. Oh, thank you for having me. And this is a huge issue. One in four kids. What kind of injuries are we talking about? Oh, it, many different injuries. Um, and it really depends if you're looking at emergency room visits, falls are the leading cause. But if you're looking at something more like what is the cause of mortality, motor vehicle crashes, poisonings, uh, firearm, uh, accidental firearm injuries, things like that are what we see that cause that. But we just want uh, individuals to know, you know, this is our event that kicks off Safe Kids Week. And we want, uh, you know, families or, or anyone that has a child in their life to, to understand that unintentional injuries are the leading cause of death for, for Kansas kids, but they are largely predictable and preventable. So that's what we focus on is the positive message of what can families do to ensure that the normal bumps and bruises and scrapes don't result in more serious or disabling injuries. And we're heading into the summer months. And when you say falls, that could be something like a fall from a bicycle. So if you want to prevent a fall from a bicycle from becoming more serious than a scraped knee, what mm -hmm. do we need to do? Well, we are going to help families out with that. Exactly. We are going to do a <laughs> bicycle helmet giveaway at our zoo event. That's kind of a, an annual tradition. We'll have about 300 helmets. And so, you know, a, a, a scraped knee or even a broken arm, that's something that can, can typically heal um, without, you know, a lot of complication. But a traumatic brain injury, on the other hand, can be serious and can last a lifetime. So uh, we want to make sure that families have a well-fitted helmet. We have volunteers from Kansas Rehab Hospital. We have student nurses uh, from Washburn University, and we have the Top City Trails Alliance who nice. volunteers are coming to fit those helmets to make sure that they're going to optimally protect your kid when they're out riding their bikes. Best demonstration I ever saw, because you're protecting your melon, dropping a cantaloupe with and without a helmet. And it gets yes. a little messy when they're not wearing their helmet. Other protective gear that we need to keep in mind as we head into the summer. Well, of course, always you know put your, your children into car seats, booster seats or seatbelts, whatever's appropriate for their age and development. Uh, of course, making sure that, that kids are getting uh, you know water safety education and they have active supervision, whether you are out boating or if you are in a swimming pool in the backyard. Every time your children are around water, you have to have active supervision without any lapse in, uh, you know, no, no checking out the phone, no reading your book. It really is something where we just don't have any wiggle room with that. And life jackets on the boat. Absolutely. Life jackets really for everyone while they are required for law, you know, by law for children to wear on any vessel. That means even on your kayaks, your paddle oh. boats, but also you want to be that good example and you want to be safe as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Safe Kids Day at the Zoo is this Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. More than 30 partners are going to be there. A lot of fun in games. The bicycle helmets that are free, by the way, those are first come, first serve, and they, they have a supply, a pretty good supply, but by noon, they typically do run out. So get there early, and please keep in mind, regular zoo admission applies, but you're going to get a whole lot of extras when you head to Safe Kids Day at the zoo. Sherry, appreciate you. And I think tomorrow's Heat Stroke Awareness Day, so remember, always check the car before you get out. Maybe even keep something in the back seat that you're going to need so you don't forget the kids back there. Yes, and thank you for that reminder for folks. You bet, thank it's you. It's starting to heat up. It is, and thank you for being here. Stay tuned, Investigate TV's next. Get the latest news, weather, and sports at WIBW.com or follow WIBW on X, Facebook, and our mobile app. Thank you for making 13 News the most watched evening